discontent at Lyon was the backdrop for their Sunday evening clash with Dijon. The locals are restless and unsure of what direction OL are going in. And they knew Saint-Étienne were just a point behind. But after a 4-1 away win in the Europa League first leg with AZ Alkmaar, Bruno Genesio would have been in a better mood and back on the bench after missing the defeat to Gangon last weekend with illness. Dijon are still in a relegation fight, but have adapted commendably to the top flight. A 2-0 win over Caen last Saturday meant they were too clear of 18th place Normans, although they fell behind inside 11 minutes. Cortan Tolisso, the fifth of the season, although his first since week 15, did score the opener in what turned out to be a shocking defeat at Dijon earlier in the season. Well, Olivier D'Arolio not delighted with the start, but response from his side would have pleased him. Oh, and Balmont returning the ball with interest and Julio Tavares with the header. Perfectly directed into the bottom corner giving Anthony Lopez his understudy Mathieu Gordillon no chance on his first league appearance since week 16 last season. But Leon continued to flood forward. Tolisso with the first effort but how on earth did Memphis Depay miss? And Baptiste René's goal, a begging. Well, Leon had been turned over at Dijon 4-2 in a major shock. And again being shown that despite only their second ever season in the top flight, Delolio's side cut the league and mustard. And Dijon silenced the park oh well. Soon into the second half. Three minutes to be precise before Luis Tione scored in back-to-back -back games for his eighth of the season. That turned on the panic button for Lyon. As Alexander Lacazette failed to hit the target from Tolisso's cutback. But the visitors couldn't hold out much longer. With ten minutes to go, great pace down the left-hand side. Depay then picking out Tolisso. And certainly... The goalkeeper would have hoped he'd done better. But unable to do anything but push Tolisso's shot into the back of the net. Sixth of the season, one short of his best of seven a few years back. Well, the controversial moment came. Tavares booked for blocking off Mukhtar Diakabi. And Lacazette with the chance to convert his tenth penalty of the season, which he did without problem, a salute to the fans in his 21st of the season. Genesio delighted and he would have been equally impressed as substitute Nabia Fekir dribbled through before curling into the bottom corner. A fabulous response from Leon under the cosh and reversing the 4-2 loss at Dijon. And coupled with Saint-Étienne's defeat, Lyon in control of fourth again, but only after an almighty scare from Dijon.